Well, thanks for chatting to Death End Theatre Scene today. It's really nice to meet you both. Thank you for having us. Um, and welcome to Death End, obviously. How was your first night last night? Yeah, brilliant, epic. I thought it was actually one of my favourite opening really? nights. Yeah. Um, the theatre is lovely. Um, the people are really nice mm. and I felt really welcome, so it's Aww, nice. Thanks. Yeah, I felt the same, literally. It was weird because when I went in the theatre, I felt like I was in like a, like an old school cinema. Like, you were like, you were like, it's quite a modern build, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it was like, quite different to what we're mm. used to, but the crowd was amazing. Mm. People were amazing, so. Brilliant. Yeah. Unlike Wimbledon, which is quite where you started, um, it's quite a traditional theatre, isn't it? Yeah. And we were chatting earlier about the press launch for that night, how hot it was. I mean, you have chosen the hottest summer to be in a musical where you have to wear the hottest uniforms, I should imagine. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> so what was that night like? Because it was like 30 degrees, wasn't it, in Wimbledon? And yeah. we were hot, you guys mm. on stage with all the lights. I, can't even I think think our bodies are adjusting now, Yeah. Mm. but um, back then, just as soon as you put it on, well, even now, to be honest, is, without even moving, you feel the drips of sweat yeah. going down your yeah. back. And that was just unbearable. I think it was just the fact that it was opening night and the, the whole beginning of the week that we kind of got through it. That was what was pushing mm. us through. Mm. But it was so, so hot. Just up, just dripping like, yeah. like we'd just come out of the shower. Half my face was off. Really? See, I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> yeah. You A lot of people so say that actually. I think if you're in the front row here, I think everyone can probably see the sweat yeah. just dripping off of our faces. Especially, mm. especially here, like the, the here, audience is so close. close. Like, yeah. I feel like they're on stage. Yeah, us. this is yeah. the closest they've been, so I reckon they'll be able to is see. It? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realise that was a clue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So Matt, obviously everybody knows you from X Factor. Did you ever imagine from winning X Factor that you would end up wearing a lion costume and doing musical theatre it's quite a, yeah I think um quite what a, a lot of people don't know is that I trained in musical theatre beforehand ah. so I did three years of college on a scholarship so that was my roots really so it's funny mm. that I've kind of come back yeah um but no I think um X Factor was an accident I think it just happened it mm. was and I ended up going all the way so of, of course I took that path um and I like to do both they're two very different worlds um, but I think it's nice sometimes just have a break from one, go to the other, go to the other, break from one. So, mm. um, no, now I feel like I'm, after this, I'll definitely be ready to go back to the studio and write right. album two. And, oh, that's good news um, for your fans. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm excited. Mm. And Anton, you've had lots of experience in musical theatre, so haven't you? You've been yeah. in some great shows. Yeah. In the Heights? Yeah. What was that like? That was fun. Like, obviously, I love Drew's choreography and like... Mm. Drew McConey. Yeah, Drew McConey. Yeah. Like, he's amazing. And stuff and like it was just, it was one of my dream shows to do back in the day so the fact that I got to do it was a great was great mm, and also you you played Ram Tuggery yeah. oh yeah, Cat, yeah, well. yeah that yeah. was like the West End revival yeah yeah so with Nicole yeah with Nicole her, it's mad actually because we both know Nicole aren't it? from yeah yeah, cool. yeah, Nicole. Yeah, yeah we're both linked yeah, so do you, do you stay in touch? Would she, yeah, she come to see you? She she wants to come and see it, but I'm not sure when. I think she's doing her... She, she's in Romania or something at the moment. Oh, okay. so, um, yeah, she did. She does want to come see it, but let's see if, if, we, if we can make it happen. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, um, for anyone who... Everyone must know the show, the film. Tell us who you are. So I play Alex the lion, and I am the one that's very by the book. I love my life. I'm I've been raised in captivity. I love the zoo. I'm the king there. So I don't really want to leave because I'll be out of my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's not really ideal. But then, to one who plays Marty, he escapes. Um, so we have to go save him, and we all end up in the wild, um, and have to find our way back. Um, but. Obviously, there's obstacles and things in the way. Yeah. Alex kind of um, starts accumulating all of his instincts back, and that's when he wants to eat his friend. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Aww. It's quite funny because like Marty and Alex are completely like opposites. Like Alex mm. is completely like set on I want to live here, I've got everything for me, and yeah. Marty. Because he's been spoiled. Yeah, he? and, like he's you know he's just like he's on that pedestal like kind of thing. Mm. And he's he's happy with his dad that nothing's wrong. He's, he actually genuinely loves it. Mm. While Marty's like having like a midlife crisis or something. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. everyone wants wants the freedom. And also like they're meant to be like natural enemies in the wild. Yeah. They've got this kind of friendship mm. that shouldn't really happen. It's because obviously they're in captivity. Mm. And I think it's just playing that kind of thing. Yeah. 
great. And obviously, it's the uh, the film's DreamWorks. Yeah. Uh, did, did you get to meet anyone from DreamWorks? Um, we haven't personally, but obviously, this is all under their supervision. Mm. So it was all under you know their terms, and mm. it is DreamWorks. So that's something that is yeah pretty cool to be a part of. Yeah, and it's very true to the film, I think, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. I think after doing the show, then watching the film back after knowing all of our lines and all the scenes and stuff, there's so much. Yeah. So much it's just all the iconic right moments mm. in the show. So. Yeah, and it's it's very. I mean, there's some great songs. It's some great comedy as well, isn't it? And the puppetry is amazing. Yeah, they work really hard to yeah. the cast out with puppetry. Definitely. So, what's your been your biggest challenge? Would you say? I think it's not only like singing, dancing, acting, but I think like embodying like an animal at some points in the show and um, the costume is obviously a big hurdle. Mm. Um, but I feel like we dealt with it really well and everybody kind of just jumped straight in and, and gave it everything they did. So yeah, so I guess, yeah, it's being a quadruple threat, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, <laughs> well, I'll let you, um, how long does it take to get all your... Um Makeup done and um between half hour yeah forty minutes. You've got it nailed now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Right, well I better let you get on. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to me and I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thought it was really good. My favourite character was the King Julian. Julian. I think he was really really good and the dancing was brilliant. Just amazing. What would you give it out of five? I'll give it a five. Um, my favourite part was when we did music because I thought it was like really nice for everyone to like have fun and it was just really nice and it was like everyone was like jumping up and down. It was just like, a really fun experience. It's very good. I really enjoyed it. My favourite bit was um, move it. And yeah. And why should people come and see the show? Because it's really up. <laughs> It's really uplifting and um, yeah, it's really uplifting and the kids will love it, you know. Uh, today we saw Madagascar and it was the best show ever and, and I thought it was my friend Kim and my mummy. It was really good and it was also, King Julia was funny, <laughs> really funny and my favourite character was Alex. My favourite part of this Madagascar was the same one from Move It, Move It, but the one before the end one because it was literally the best part of the whole show. So, Matilda, what would you give it out of five? How many stars would you give it out of I'll five? I'll give it ten. Ten? That's really good. Well done. Thank you, Matilda. Uh, out of five, a five plus. Um, four.